All right, gamers, please, I got some new news, of course, for Doka right here, of course, though, today. But, yes, though, of course, uh, of course, we got to do a Goku back celebration, of course, for JP right now. Gobos is going to get Frieza, of course, it was fully confirmed, everything, of course, um, which I am happy about that, um, because we all thought Tumble was going to be next, but Frieza does kind of make sense, of course. Uh, with, you know, JP do celebrations after that's coming out, because we got a brand new resurrection of story event, um, which I going to make sure it's on for. Uh, we got to do Kremlin, of course, going to go over him really quick. Um, new... Super Saiyan 2 Trunks that came out with Goku Black stuff. Physical Goku Black probably getting a super easy A. We have a lot in the celebration info. We could probably potentially go over a lot of stuff we can actually talk about anyway. So yeah, of course. And I sound a little bit out of it the way. I'm a little bit tired. Been working a lot lately though, so. It's been a little bit tired, but I love the banner art for this. I love it so much though. I know it's the Blue Goku um, TR from like the Goku Black and um, the down celebration of last year. So the TR. I like that though. But of course, we got a radio equivalent, of course. Um, for the new Resurrection of Story event, which I can tell this is the card art, like, this is, like, his, um, po and that's from, like, Universal of Saga, but, um, it's from the Resurrection of Poster Art, I believe, one of the Poster Arts. Of course, like I said, we got Chris got special missions, of course, at the whole, um, celebration info right here. Like I said, I love how Blue Goku, of course, the new trunks, they get to run out of with all the information, of course, could go over that really quick. But yeah, I gotta talk about the units first, probably, though, because this is the fixed version, though, of course. Man, that doesn't mean I was the original version, but he did have a fixed version of it, though, so I can probably possibly go for that. Uh, I let's go over Krillin first, actually. So he does Warriors Raise on Earth, key 3, all that's at 50%, not bad. Get really, really raise attack defensive for one turn, supreme damage, lowers attack. A uh, really, um, really, really lowers attack. I like that though. Earth, Earth's warrior stand. It's pretty much like boy, like pretty much like warriors on Earth. So he had to hit. Oh, cool! He has a free to play inter intro animation. All of that. I love when they do that though. Of course, that defense up 188. He does a lot for a free to play unit now, which is good nowadays. They do need this 180 percent for the for, for the rest of the battle and a chance to perform a crit up 82 percent. Three turns starting from when all allies are super class on the starting. Okay, to put GA super class characters from the um this character to, um entry turn. Attack defense at 150 when attacking, uh, runs additional attack when facing two more enemies, which makes sense. He's gonna be a good super battle rope killer. For a fruit play unit, he was like a summonable unit, honestly, which is really good though, so. Warriors Rage on Earth category, um, LSG2, attack defense of 200, uh, 20%. Um, recovers 20% HP, regards against all attacks when all allies attack in the same turn or. Warriors Rage on Earth characters, high chance of any enemies attacks, including super attack. And Warriors Rage on Earth category allies get attack defense up 20% in addition when, this when your team has an ally who is Goku, um, besides, of course, Ginyu Jr., etc., attacking in the same turn or starting for the fifth turn. So he pretty much, like, he could be like a turtle school kind of support as well. I only go to some of the categories, of course. Uh, presents our high combatability, courage, turtle school, salt support, patrol, resolution of uh, shared and limit. Um, his categories are Workhorse Warriors from Earth, Powerful Woods, Bond of Friendship, Turtle School, Hero, Movie Heroes, Earthlings, Ally of Justice, you know, Defenders of Justice, and of course, Bond of Parent and Child. I like the ladies on Bond of Parent and Child. Um, but yeah, he feels like he could, he could honestly probably be a good support for, um, his Warriors on Earth, it's, um, I believe, no, it's, it's Earth Breath Fighters, the Goku, Gohan, the Kid Goku, Boma, and Krillin, are actually coming to Gold Ball as well, I forgot to mention that, and I was thinking they could be a perfect partner for this Krillin, but it's not, though, sadly, I was thinking of that, but no. Of course, going to Trunks, of course, I haven't even read his info yet, though, but this is the fixed version of me, I don't have posted. So, the time travel of his key, 3 ults at the 130, not bad. His attack is 12 key. He greatly raises his attack defense for one turn, supreme damage. His, oh, yeah, he has, he has a animation too, nice. But I have just one Super Saiyan 2. We you know Super to Super Saiyan 2. Uh, of course, he has an intro animation only once. All allies get key 3, own chance to dodge. Oh, yeah, many attacks, including super attacks, that's cool. Attack plus 20% for four turns from. If there is another other future category ally attacking on the team, starting from this character attacking turn, take defense of 60%, attack to 300%. Dang, it have a coin are really, really great on this. I love, I love how they're built. A chance to perform a crit, invades enemies attack, including super attacks, up 10%, up to back to 50%, with each time traveler category ally on the team. When HP 70% or below, a chance to perform a crit, evade attacks, including super attacks, up 20%. Attack was 450 when performing a super attack. Attack defense of 150. Start from the turn when this character evades three more attacks. His links are Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Royal Lineage. Um, Messenger from the Future. I said, oh, I said, Disable from the Future. <laughs> Messenger from the Future, Disable Future. Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle. His categories <clears throat> Time Travelers, Hybrid Saiyans, a Vegeta Family. Um, so Future Saga, Super Saiyan 2, Bottom Master and Disciple, Revenge, Battle of Woods, Trusted Will, 
Barbarian Child, Superheroes, and of course, um, Arbetta Fighters, which is, like I said, it's really good. Him and Krillin very, very seem, seem very, very similar, honestly. Um, but like I said, it's pretty much like, again, Trunks is a symbol unit, and compared to Krillin, like I said, he feels, also feels like a symbol unit, honestly. Um, but yeah, they both are actually really good. I love how the kits are built. The kits themselves are actually built really, really well. Like I said, a lot of people are like, oh, they suck, blah, blah, blah. They're not going to use any other kit, team or whatever. But you never, never know. These, guys, these side units have been cutting, the like, free play units and side units have been coming in handy. But you never know. You might get an easy A someday. He can be disgusting the next year or the year after, though. So, yeah. Of course, we got special missions, of course, for Goku Boxing Celebration, of course. Get some Sleepy Kai, some Dragon Stones, small elite items, training items, um, Grand Kai's, e Intelligence and Physical, uh, or Int and Physical, uh, at a later date. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna get missions. And right now, I think right now, I believe there is probably gonna be a part two, because last year this was Turles' time slot, so we had LR Dr. Wheelow last year, and of course, we had Super Round Goku, pretty much in the same week, so I wanna say. It should be on the 5th. I want to say the 5th. No, no, no. This celebration just started today. So it could be like... Well, it could be like on the 6th or like the 10th. Because I don't know he was featured in um, last year's V-Jump too. So... It'll probably be featured in this year's V-Jump as well. But I gotta go back and see Goku's stuff. Like when he released and everything. Um, But yeah, though. Um, right, that's the big three right now. Of course, part 2 LR. Um, it could be like... Said, Trunks could be a new monster. It could be a new base from Goku Black. Um, Vegeta being down on Goku Black, like the whole fight for him. It could be a, another Blue Goku and Vegeta. It could be a Blue Goku, um, you know, like his anger. Like, cause like, uh, that's just kind of a big hint right here, maybe. Like, it could be like the Blue Goku that's exploding anger after, you know, he figures out, you know, Goku Black, Kyo Chi and Gonsen. It could be like, you know, v the Legends of Vegeta, pretty much like where he's pummeling down Goku Black. We yeah, kind of got the animation last year with the Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta combo, which is a good idea, but. Like I said, we have a full animation for that, though, in the game. But, but like I said, it could be, like, you know, they, then, you know, it could be, like, a Tenobot or whatever. But, yeah, of course, Global Celebration Info. I see some other stuff in here, which does make sense, because, again, this is pretty much similar to Global's, but adding, like, a few new things on it, though. But, yeah, I know Global is getting the trunks, though, so. I say, I blow. I say animation has been, like I said, now it's trying to get kind of busy now with GB and Global, which is really good. Tonight, at this time of recording tonight, we should, at this day, like, we're recording the video, we should be getting, um... Or whatever I upload though, maybe like a day or two or whatever. Um, we should be getting Frieza coming out for Global, and um, we should be getting Trunks coming out for Global as well because he's gonna be featured on Future of the Banner. But like I said, why well, didn't just put some Goku Black? But whatever. Of course, guess we got Logan bonus, of course, special missions, of course. Uh, Goku Black's Banner, of course, gonna have Trunks on here. Um, I don't know. Banner might be. I had a feeling it's gonna be completely different. I said this in my data, in my short, in my data download, I believe. Probably the short from yesterday when I was going over Goku Black's, you know. Um, teaser and I was like they could change the banner completely because it's gonna probably be seven units Goebbels like I said was just probably like you know oh yeah here's the first banner always at large so you can trap both you guys and stuff like that of course but yeah like I said though it's probably like I said just like this it's like you know it's gonna be a seven feature unit banner and Goebbels was like ten so but, you know they could on um, the father son got like an LR they could for a moment now with the other LRs from the other banners I don't know but yeah of course we got the new um of course um Category, you know, support banner right here, which does make sense. Obviously, Goku Black, this Goku Black is getting a super easy A, which, like I said, heavily does make sense. I know Kefla was easy to get your easy A in the celebration because when we came back for Gold Boy, that's when we got Kefla's easy A. But yeah, Goku Black getting a super easy A would make sense because all this SA animation and phrases were changed a little bit, I believe. So it does make sense he would be getting a super easy A next, which I'm happy for, honestly, though. But like I said, Gold Boy JP is different, though, unless they make him the same on Gold Boy JP. Right now, which I, I feel like they will. But uh, if they do, holy crap, this Super Easy A is almost going to be insane. In our JP, of course, Super Easy A isn't really good so far, honestly. Like, like I said, second Easy A in the game, is that's disgusting. Of course, like I said, Kefla right here, being right here means her, she's going to be obviously be in the celebration. That does make sense. But yeah, this getting a Super Easy A, that's awesome. Uh, Goku Box getting a brand new stage for his event. Like I said, he's a, this is his third stage, so he could, he could be getting LR next year in Tanabata. Or this year, maybe. And then the year, maybe. It could be like a Goku Black and Trunks starting out in their fight with, um, you know, starting out just the future Saga to fight. We still have, we still have, we don't have, we still don't have, like, LR, you know, actual Goku Black, you know, or, 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 you know, he could go, like, the first fight, like, where he fights Trunks, you know, his intro, his actual intro, give him his, like, you know, intermission fighters, and then, like, you know, he goes on to Rose. I don't know, like, they could be that first beginning whole fight with him and Trunks. Which of course Trunks is hearing some animations and stuff like that, but yeah. Just because you know we got this and everything is kind of opening up towards that. Hey yo, actually we did get some Masu and Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta, so it does make sense. Oh, down celebration could be, you know, super again this year. Again, down celebration's always kind of funny. 
We know 10 about this year could be baby. I don't know, some more GT stuff coming up, probably. I don't know, GT or Super, like I said, it's coming up with some big stuff, I believe. Is it probably for Tampa? It'll probably be GT again or Super. Yeah. Um, could do kind of, yeah, because Super was 2021, I think. No, 2020. Then GT was before that. They kind of do, yeah, I think they do that. Whatever. And of course, we got the brand new Duncan support um, events. So, pretty much, like I said, you do missions, get extra medals from this, which is always really good. I love that. Of course, I got some new um, weekend missions. I did go over that in my short recently, though. Pretty much, like I say, uh, every single day. About, I think, every single weekend, pretty much. You can, yeah, it is. It like that, though. Pretty much a whole entire month, you just, you know, everything, I believe it's every single weekend. You get, like, um, or every week. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. You get, like, um, tickets so you can um, spin on the weekend banner, which, like I said, this is the weekend banner. I love that Goku Black on here, though. <laughs> I love that. So, um, yes, pretty much the weekend, Doka Fest banner. So, you, you, um, you get, we get Doka Fest, um, yeah, it, yeah, it's gonna like that. It's gonna be every weekend, you'll get, um, these Doka Fest tickets. Uh, <sighs> doing missions from the weekend. You can send on this banner. And of course, we got a regular weekend banner back as well. So, that's actually really good. You talk about story event for Resurrection. I've went over that, my short. Oh, uh, we got, that's where the crown comes from. New EX missions, of course, it's always back. The battlefield's coming back up and get, I think, now we can get another copy of Frieza and Cell. Um, that's what I said in the um, info I read. Um, New Dragonstone Cell. Oh, yeah, they got, yeah, because so Kefla is coming for Global and JB. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because they kind of just blow it here, but yeah. Get some new easy support missions, you get more Zenny. Of course, you can, um, you know, pretty much you just get a lot of Zenny. You get extra medals just from, like, you know, during the easy A's. Of course, Kefla's easy A's coming out, though. She's disgusting. I love her so much. She's awesome. She built really, really well. Her and Gunsinks, honestly, I think, are probably some of my favorites from this year. Her and Trisman like, Gunsinks are really good. Of course, um, yeah, of course, her Duck Fest event coming back, though, because you know, this is from her old Duck Fest event. It just updated to the new one. Um, new sort of battle road stage that is coming up. Of course, you got um, got, you know, um, Elder Kai banner. So, like I said, on the 16th, we'll probably see like 16th, 14th, we'll see the 14th LR. Uh, new sort of battle road burst mode for you like Goku, which did come out for JP. Uh, for global, I meant to say, of course, um, hits being a brand new stage for his domain event. So, that was kind of fun. And of course, uh, what else we got in here? New Penta Battle 32, so it's pretty much superhero right now. I'll go with JP, pretty much almost caught up with Penta Battle stuff though, so it's really good. I think uh, Super Strike 16 in um, Trunks. The support memory stage. I think this is going to be back. Yeah, it's new. Okay, we're getting a brand new support memory update then. But for, yeah, part two. Yeah, like part two LR. That's one. Yeah. Again, if it's going to be a future one or a super one. We're going to hit that as, the, as LR. Which story events come back? Trunks' event. Commander Close event. Um, more story event stuff. All Android's Trunks. This is all future stuff related to him and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, just a whole bunch of story events though. Oh, little Gia's events back though. Oh, I was in that event back in a bit. Uh, Prime Battles are up though. Yeah, Dr. Wheeler from last year, that makes sense. Easy A area for the movies, Cell. Yeah, all these areas back for all this super stuff, Z stuff. It's just, just, it's gonna come back again. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it for the campaign stuff. We got a lot, of, you can do a lot of Easy A. Holy crap, a lot of just story event stuff though. Yeah, just to put some more meat in his bones. That's not too bad, not too bad though. The domain one was kind of random, but I think this thing's really, really good though. It's a big celebration. So, like I said, Global doesn't go back into the bucket, have like, you know, um, probably gonna have like Shrimp Ring Frieza event. They come in with some stuff early as well. Like I said, Trucks coming to Global early. Uh, not even early, just coming to Global because they never get rid of for JP, but. Yeah, little stuff like that, though, of course. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go up today, though. But yeah, see you guys there, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great up. I'll go check again. Let me join you for watching and come out to all of you. We're going up on our mats on the top paper for you. Take a best if you can. Go outside to the guys. Ethan Kobe. I'm sure all my friends and Dick Cross are so freaking Guys are awesome. What do you guys think about all this info, though, of course? I like I said, tonight we're just tomorrow. We're going to probably see Global's info as well. But yeah, see you guys there, though. We can go. It's out.